When Samsung launched the Galaxy S24 series, the biggest news related to the phones was Galaxy AI. Galaxy AI is a suite of features that come both on device and in the cloud with the Galaxy S24 phones and allow you to do things that you've never been able to do with a smartphone before. Now that the Galaxy S24 series has been out for a while, the Galaxy AI features are making their way to other Samsung phones, including the Galaxy S23 series. So I have Galaxy AI on the Galaxy S23 Ultra right here, and I wanna go over the five best Galaxy AI features that you can use right now on these phones. The first and most popular Galaxy AI feature is Circle to Search. This is a feature that allows you to use Google to search for anything that's on your phone's display. That could be an image that you downloaded from the internet, a photo that you've taken, or a screenshot of a website. It doesn't matter. As long as it's on your phone's display, you can Google search it. Once you have whatever you want on your display, you just use your finger to literally circle what you want to search. Once you circle it, Google will analyze that image using the cloud AI, and then it will give you a result. This could be a great way for you to figure out something to buy. For example, you could see somebody wearing something really cool and think to yourself, man, I want to buy that. You just get that image on your phone, circle it, and then Google will give you a link to buy that item. You can think of all sorts of reasons to use Circle to Search, making it one of the most powerful new features in the Galaxy AI suite. If you want to get started with Circle to Search, you don't need to do anything. It's already activated by default once you install One UI 6.1 on your Galaxy device. All you need to do is long press on the home button or the navigation bar, depending on which type of navigation you have set on your phone, and then circle to search. If you want to turn off circle to search for some reason, you can go into settings. Just go into settings and search for circle to search, and then you can turn off the feature if for whatever reason you don't like it. The second cool feature in the Galaxy AI suite of tools is generative edit. Have you ever taken a shot that's just a little bit off access? When you try to bring it so it's back to being normal again, you end up having to crop in on the photo, and that might take away some information that you want to keep. Well, with Generative Edit, you can adjust the axis of the image while not having to lose out on all that information. This is thanks to Generative AI, which will fill in the gaps left behind when you adjust the axis of the image. This is perfect for people who took a great shot but wanted to look just a little bit better. There are a whole bunch of photo editing tools within Galaxy AI, but I think this one is the coolest. The third Galaxy AI feature that I want to talk about is Voice Recorder. The Voice Recorder app is very simple. You hit record and then you talk or have a conversation, then you hit stop and you have an audio recording of that conversation. But thanks to Generative AI, the Voice Recorder app can now create transcriptions of that entire conversation. It can even designate who is talking when, giving you a very clean and easy to read transcript of that entire recording. Additionally, you can also use Generative AI to create a summary of that entire conversation. So you don't need to read the whole thing to get the gist of what's going on. The best thing is, is that both of these services happen on device. Therefore, they don't need a data connection to work. The one thing you have to keep in mind here though, is that in order to use this service, you have to download the package. That requires you to go into settings, advanced features, advanced intelligence, voice recorder, and then downloading the required package. If you don't do this ahead of time, then when you're off the grid, you're not gonna be able to do these features. So make sure you do this now before you need it later. If you travel a lot, you're gonna love this next Galaxy AI feature, which is Interpreter. Now, there are a few ways that Interpreter works, so I'm gonna go over both of them. The first one is really useful when you're actually out and about traveling. If you're talking to somebody and they don't speak the language that you speak, you can use Interpreter app to have a real-time conversation with someone right in front of you. They can speak and then it will transcribe in either audio or text what they've said in your language. Then you can speak in your language and it'll do the same for the other person. This is perfect for when you need directions to a certain spot, if you're lost, or if you're just trying to find out more about the area from the locals. The second way that Interpreter works is actually in the phone app itself, which is perfect for when you're having a phone conversation with someone who doesn't speak your language. The best part about this one is that it will work no matter what the other person's phone is. They could be using an iPhone, an Android phone from a different manufacturer, or even a landline. 
The fifth feature I wanna focus on in the Galaxy AI Suite is called Chat Assist. This is actually a bunch of different tools all in one that works with the Samsung keyboard. It can provide translations, it can check your spelling and grammar, it can suggest messages for you, and a whole lot more. The best part is, is that since it's built into Samsung's keyboards, it works on any app. This could be great for when you're having a conversation with someone who doesn't speak your language, or if you wanna to talk to your boss and speak very professionally, you can get all the grammar and style suggestions that you could ever want. The only real drawback is, is that you have to be using Samsung's keyboard. If you prefer other keyboards, such as Microsoft Swift Key or Google Gboard, you're not going to get these specific features. Of course, other keyboards will offer similar features, but Samsung's on-device AI does make things a little bit better. If you're excited to try out some of these Galaxy AI features, but don't know if your phone supports them, don't worry, here's a full list. You can use these on the Galaxy S24 series, the Galaxy S23 series, the Galaxy Z Fold 5, Galaxy Z Flip 5, and the Galaxy Tab S9 series. Just make sure you've downloaded the latest update to One UI 6.1 and you'll have all these features available to you. If you don't have one of these devices and are hoping that Galaxy AI will come to your phone, we do think that this is going to come to the Galaxy S22 series in the future. Samsung hasn't confirmed that yet, but we're very hopeful that that's going to happen. Additionally, there could be more Galaxy AI features coming up down the line. In 2024, we might see a lot of new features coming up, but we just don't know what they are yet. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you wanna know more about Samsung or Galaxy AI, be sure to stay tuned right here to Android Authority's YouTube channel.